welcome to this lightsaber tutorial in Vision Lab Studio. Today I'm going to teach you how to apply a lightsaber effect and rotoscope it onto your footage using Vision Lab. Um, as you can see, I've already imported my footage into Vision Lab. I'm going to start off by playing you that so you can see what we're going to be applying the effect to today. Alright, so that's what we have to work with. Uh, First off, before we start, I'm going to give you a few tips about recording your footage. Um, number one, it's best to use a steady camera that's mounted on a tripod or surface that isn't moving. That way, when your lightsaber is held still during your footage, it's easier to apply the effect to because you don't have to apply it to as many frames because your lightsaber is not moving. If you have a camera that is moving around all the time, then consequently your lightsaber could be shifting all around the screen and you'd have to apply the effect to multiple places. And the second tip, Use a lightsaber that is of bright color that you'll be able to see against almost any background, depending on what your background is. Here I have blue and red, so I chose a green prop saber. This, by the way, is the prop saber. Alright, so you start off by selecting the neon light under the effects tab. Make sure you clicked on that. Click the neon light. Make sure you're on the first frame. Drag the neon light on top of your footage. Click four point up in here and then click it, click on the four points of your prop saber and line it up well. As you can see the effect is applied almost instantaneously. Um, if your lightsaber runs off the screen as mine did here then it's best to go ahead and drag the points off the screen also. Um, now we're going to make it look like a lightsaber by adding a curve to the hilt. Point five usually works well and to the tip, one usually works well. This is the hilt down here, this is the tip up here. Um, when you apply your effect originally dra dragging the points, it works best to click these two points, starting with this one, and then here, and then here, and here, or starting with this one, and then here, and here, here. Otherwise, say I give this a curve of about three, and then if I were to have drawn my points like this, can see the effect that it has. It drags it out this way as opposed to dragging it out the top. So you want to make sure you don't do that. If you think you'll curve you think you need a better curve. I'm gonna go ahead and make this one again. There we go. Alright now this doesn't really look that much like a lightsaber yet. We're gonna have to uh, make some changes to it. First off, the feather should be about four here under your neon shape. Then click your neon glow. Change this feather to two. It doesn't make much of a difference, but it's subtle enough. Your size should be 23 and spread about 15. I found that these usually make it look most like a lightsaber. You can change the color if you want. I know most people don't like red unless they're trying to be a bad guy. I'm going to go with blue because it's my preference. You can really choose any color though. You can choose this blue or light blue. It doesn't really matter. I like the dark better. Alright, now, now we have our lightsaber. The next step is to rotoscope it. It's not very much fun, but you have to do it to make your effect look good. It takes a long time because you have to do it for about every other frame. Um, but it's not going to look very good unless your footage is, is, unless your effect is as long as your footage. So you click this crop tool, click on the, hold your mouse cursor over the end of the, the effect, and drag it to the end of your footage. Oops. Drag to the end of your footage. There. Now, as you can see, no matter how much you move your lightsaber, I mean your footage, your effect stays in the same spot. That's not good. That's where rotoscoping comes in. The process of taking the effect and matching it up with your original footage. So, you can do it frame by frame, which takes forever, or every other frame. I recommend on slow parts doing about every two to three frames or every other frame, and on faster parts doing every other frame. Uh, if you see here, it has a tip for you here. You click this green button next to the neon glow, it turns off your glow. That way you can see the effect and apply it better. 
when moving it, when doing a slow part, it's best not to redraw your saber every time, because then it kind of like wobbles around because your points aren't always in the same spot. So when you go frame by frame, it's best to drag the bottom two points till they match up, and then move these up top. Okay, so as you can see here, I finished rotoscoping the slower moving portion of my of my clip. Um, right here, I just kind of go back and forth a little bit. Now I'm going to start the fast portion. So I'm going to turn off the glow, select my full point, and um, a tip with using your with um, editing faster moving parts. It's best to do every frame or every other frame. I'm going to go ahead and do every other for right now. Uh, as you can see, the lightsaber is pretty much in two places here. What you want to do is start at your hilt, as usual, and make the effect cover the entire range of lightsaber. Now when you turn on your glow, it's going to look weird as a single frame, but remember that it's in motion and when you do it, it actually is going to look pretty good. Uh, so then you go about two frames down. Do the same thing. As you can see here, it's not as wide a range of lights of movement, which means that I just wasn't moving it as much. Go ahead and drag the effect on it again. Draw the effect on it again. Couple frames down. Same thing. And just do that until you finish your effect. Until you finish applying the effect to everything. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and finish up here. Draw my last shape. Move it so that it fits. Alright, once you finish, you see all my keyframes on here. I pretty much did every frame. Uh, you go up to render, click. Make sure render settings are the way you like them. Single file, high quality, all that good stuff. And then click rent. Make sure your out point is set to the end of your footage too, right here. Change your out point, you go to the frame. And then click this button here. Alright, then render. Render. Give it a file name. Save it. And then it'll render your footage. This might take a while, so I don't know. You can watch your favorite TV show while it's rendering. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you what my effect looked like when I'm done. Doesn't have sound, but see, as the lightsaber stays on it the whole time, that's rotoscoping. Your last step is to download some sound effects and add the sound, and then you got yourself a lightsaber. Uh, Thank you for watching this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you in my next one.